Looks like I just smashed through that uh, barrier. I've been looking at the 140s for the longest time. I'm really proud of this. Time for my outfit of the day. I've got bandana printed headband, basic red t-shirt showing spillage, black jeans, and red belt that doesn't go with my t-shirt at all. Between a late start and really getting some things done today, I really didn't feel like eating, so I had a shake and a half for lunch. My mom found a truly low-carb and zero-wheat pizza that actually had pepperoni. It's a cauliflower crust, and so she brought that home, and the boys had pizza rolls. We split this. 7 out of 9, and I just dropped my kiddos off with their dad. It's going to be another birthday weekend, so hopefully they'll have some fun. Except my oldest is going to be catching up on some schoolwork. There's a Georgia license plate right in front of me. I don't see those very often. A lot of different license plates because we got interstate running through a nearby big city, but Georgia, that, um, that is a rare one for me. I really need to wash this thing. It's covered in junk again. I just washed it recently, but my first priority is apparently somebody wants the General Grievous Lego set that we saw the other day. Well, I guess it was about a week ago. And um, that's for his birthday. And I've been shopping around for yoga pants. Because everything is falling down. I need the belt, so I'm going to go look at some yoga pants. And maybe fill up my tank. There's a car wash close to Goodwill, and I think I'm almost ready do a goodwill run so I think I'm gonna probably try to do a goodwill run tomorrow and watch this beastie I need a name for this thing I need a name for this vehicle yeah, it's a blue um, SUV I feel like I should be able to come up with something I mean some angles it looks blue and while like, you're walking around at some angles it looks black but um, yeah it definitely needs washed. It's got a big white streak on the rear passenger side door, and that is driving me up the wall, along with all the dirt and schmutz on the window. Actually, there's a lot on the back window as well. Okay, it's about 8.15, and um, I am just not thrilled. I walked o all over the darn Place and I could not find anywhere the Lego General Grievous set. Nor could I find any yoga pants that weren't just straight up leggings. My actual yoga pants that won't constrict around my calves when I'm trying to do stretches and stuff. I really thought this was going to be like a Three Musketeers Bar by Harder shoe. I don't care. Um, my calories are kind of low. I'm having that pizza for dinner, but whatever. But that is a lot harder too. Also, the stevia chocolate I've been eating, the Lily's brand stuff, has certainly spoiled me because this is not nearly as good as that. But then this is a uh, either a fat bomb or meal replacement. It's not meant to be a treat like regular chocolate. I'm trying really hard not to touch it with my hands, holding on by the wrapper. So, I was running across all kinds of either super tight little bitty yoga pants or things in 2X and 3X. Also, apparently, Americans wear a lot of um, workout gear just like everywhere. And I've seen on Reddit where people have said this is really weird about um, the U.S., I took a, look, a quick look at the pajamas and stuff because my pajamas are also falling off of me, but I'm not really finding a lot of anything that I like, so I think I'm going to have to go to an actual clothing store rather than um, like an 
usually afford. Which is fun because so much Boy Scout stuff and birthday stuff and back to school stuff just kind of ate up the last couple of um, checks. <sighs> so much fun. So, I'll figure something out. I'll check around for some sales, that sort of thing. Not thrilled. Not a lot I can do about it. I'm very tired. There's a slight crunch to this. I was expecting, you know, whipped chocolate, but wow. This is nothing like three musketeers were. Okay, I'm gonna log this. I'm gonna get on the road home because I am not really planning to do much more today. I moved a not very heavy box, the box I've been working on. Um, I moved an archery target both out to back my vehicle. I only had to uh, operate the lift gate once because my youngest came out and helped me get the box in. Although I did move stuff off of, I cleaned two shelves today. So these are both high shelves. So I've had my arms up above my head and it is really wearing on my shoulders a lot. And across the um, empty parking spot from me and into the next lane, I'm watching this guy get his two boys out of the back seat of his pickup truck. And the bigger one just kind of tumbled out and landed on the ground. Well, he's okay, but still, man, been there. Been there. Like your kid will do something, you have, and you're right there and you still can't stop it. And they bust out crying. Everybody like turns this accusing look on their face. Oh, man. And then there's the kids who just have a really healthy set of lungs. And boy, do they let you know it. Nothing's particularly wrong. They're just loud. Every now and again. I don't judge people too harshly. Not after having kids of my own. No mom guilt here, no. Okay, it's about 1 a.m. I'm pretty tired. Um, I jumped in the shower, try to get my shoulders to chill a bit, using some hot water, but it's still pretty evident they're gonna be real cranky tomorrow. I have a red dot on my face because apparently this yes to tomatoes thing is supposed to make the um I don't know it's double or triple zit uh chill um as I was in there I went ahead and washed my hair I'm gonna see if my probably have my mom help me dye my hair tomorrow. I am sick of looking at my natural color and to make things easier I did not detangle it over head and plop it as curly girls are wont to do. I combed it downward you know intentionally parted it and uh, kind of straightened it a little bit with uh, with the comb, just keeping it kind of pulled out so it's just a easy to manage wave so that will make it easier for sectioning so that I can make sure that the dye, which is a different brand, it's uh, dark and lovely, which is aimed at African American women. So I figured it would um, have my curls left. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that having this kind of straightened out into, you know, manageable, which I didn't use any heat, will just make it easier to section it, get all the dye to permeate, permeate all the sections. I'm starting to think that I stumble over my words more when I'm tired, 
it would certainly make sense. Anyway, um, I don't know if you can see it, but top shelf over there has been cleaned out. And um, I managed to get all my major beauty products and stuff onto that shelf. So all my makeup and skincare is in one spot. And then I took all the little bottles and things off of the shelves below it where they were just sitting in front of my books and things. Yeah, I really need to go through there and see if any of that stuff needs to go to Goodwill, but I'm kind of hesitant to get rid of books. It's a family habit. Um, did I have a goal for today? I feel like I should write these things down. Um, tomorrow I'm still going to try for that Goodwill run. I'm going to try to get my hair dyed, if not, maybe uh, Sunday. And, um, hmm, I may stop at the sporting goods store and see if they have any really legitimate yoga pants. Because, um, the two shelves where the yoga pants that would have fit what I need at Walmart were absolutely abysmal and I should know better than to go to that location but it was on the way and I gotta admit that the gas price at that Walmart was not bad it was uh 163 gallon and on the way there I saw several places that were in the 180s 190s and um I'm still on the way home so not wasting any gas running out to go to a cheaper place to get gas which is a whole thing in itself so that's it. It's almost, um, it's almost 1am and that's it. That's my day. Thanks for sharing it with me.